listen to me, man. Um, you get a lot of girls. Me? Yeah, yeah. To be honest, you have a girlfriend? No. Why? I don't have a girlfriend. Do I get? I, I don't say get a lot of girls. I get, I do my best, and occasionally I'll get dates. Yeah. But I would say, I do a, worse than you would probably imagine. Yeah. Well, okay, so um, this year, how many girls have you smashed? Zero. Well, Christian, huh? No. You tried? Yeah. You well, really? No, 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 no. Hold on. No, no. no. Pause. Pause. pause, pause. I didn't try to smash. Yeah. I. <laughs> You know, I try to have a loving relationship. Oh, Jesus Christ, what? But here's the thing, man. It's 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 hard and also I, I will How say How old are you? Twenty four. L- guy. I don't find guy, a lot guy, of- guy, guy, guy. <laughs> this is the age to do it. Because let me just say something, guy. All right, when I was in my ten year relationship, the thing that was in the back of my mind was like I should have done it more in my twenties. Why can't you now? I am doing it now. How is we that? broke up. How is that? I love it. <laughs> is that good for you? Feels good. <laughs> so you feel so good? How are you? Good, dog. How are you good with the ladies? What do you mean? How are you good with them? Like, what is it? Like, I think I'm gonna find, find them. Where do I find them? Yeah. Yes, it's right downtown. There. The home. No, no, Venice. The one. You know the that's silver insane. one, Jack. Yeah, the silver <laughs> one. Yeah, 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 yeah. His cousin, the electric guitar guy. Yeah, no, um, no, I, <laughs> no. What I'm saying is this: is be real. Let's be real. Um, I, because I don't. Um, you know, when I was in my 20s, I was too afraid to even go for it. Because the rejection really hurt. And now I think I just don't really that care that much anymore. Like I've had girls go, I've, I've had, go, hey, you want to hang out? And I've heard, I've had girls go, ew, now. I, mean, I don't give a f- I just move on. They said ew to you? Like, ew, yeah. Where, where in Hawaii. You... I swear to God it happened. I was in Hawaii, bro. I'm walking down the street. This blonde girl, she's from Oklahoma. How old is she? She's white, probably Anywhere between 25 and 35. Okay. Is that pretty good? Yeah, that's yeah. great. And then her friends, like, she's like, oh, can I get a photo with you? And I go, yeah. And, she, and then her friends were like, like, ooh. They said, ooh, too. They go, ooh, who's that guy? Right? And she's like, oh, he's a comic, this and that. And then and they go, is that your, going to be your future husband to the blonde girl? And she goes, ew, a big girl, ew. I took the photo and I left. What? I will say this much. Yeah. I think you can turn those I am views. ooh, though. No, you're not. I am. I don't. I don't see the you. Yeah. No. Like, what do you mean by Maybe, that? Uh, do you mean like, <laughs> like? Well, to some, I'm pretty ooh, probably. And to some, I'm ooh as well. Right. And then there's some. There's some girls are ooh to me. Right. So I think we're at understanding. So we're balance very good. Out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> balance this out. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Anyway, what were you going to say? The yin and the yang. The yin and the yang. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that you can turn some of those ooh encounters like. You can just keep persisting and being the best person that you can possibly be. And I feel like after enough time, once you've proven yourself to somebody, you think there needs to be that upfront chemistry. It's got to be some. Nope. Because we're talking, you're talking, you're, we're talking about two different games. Okay. Or I'm talk, you're talking about finding the love of your life, right? And I'm talking about smashing. Those are two different games. Got it. Yeah. Yeah. But actually, I, 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 to be honest with you, um, I, I think I like somebody right now. Really? I do like somebody, and that's all I'm going to say. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. I guess well, what sort of qualities do you like about a person like that? I like um, the opposite of what I am. I'm a dirty ethnic bastard. You know what I mean? I spit. I spit in the coochie. <laughs> I do. I spit right in the coochie, and I don't apologize for it. I go, <laughs> right? And they go, well, <laughs> ew, I don't care. You know what I mean? But I like the opposite. The, I like ones that are like... That say, ooh? Oh, no, that don't say, ooh. I like the ones that are like, I go to church. I wake up at 8 in the morning. I do yoga. You know what I mean? And then I, you know, I take my son to school. You know what I mean? There's normal, sure. normal people. You know what I mean? I don't want anyone to spit on, on me back. Yeah, I go, will say... And then, then, oh, yeah? <laughs> and then it becomes a weird thing. You know what I mean? So it's like, no, I like the opposite of like who I am, you know? Because I'm, uh, I'm a creature of the night, <laughs> and I want an uh, angel of the day. Good, uh, good yin and yang. Yeah. Thank you, yin and yeah. yang again. I think that makes sense. Thank I feel you. like that's a, a lot of guys just in general are attracted to like the proactive woman who like gets up early and like you know takes the kids to school. They go to activities. They yeah, have their yeah. own life. Like I feel like those are just generally accepted attractive qualities in women. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want you to say yeah. asol to me. Asof. As asol. I saw. Good. What does that mean? I don't know, but it's Asian and I love it. It's going it, to be some slur or something. No, I think it's a hello. I think it's a oh, yes okay, or something right. in Japan. Um, yeah, I mean, um, but right now, because I was in a 10 year thing, um, I'm not really eager to rush into another long term thing, right? I just, you know, I just, um, 
I know, I'm just trying to figure. I'm trying to. I think I'm in a new m- metamorphosis mm. in my life. Yeah. What did you learn from that relationship? What did you learn from that relationship? Oh, well, first of all, I love her still. Yeah. You know, um, we have a podcast together called Tiger Belly, mm-hmm. and I love her immensely. She's my best friend. I learned a lot. I learned um, that I can love somebody, you know, unconditionally, um, even if it's not sex is not involved. Really, I trust her like family. You know, I really do. Um, I love her. I love her whole family, and. Um, um, I didn't really learn anything, really. <laughs> 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 I didn't learn anything. I was trying to make something up. I didn't learn nothing. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. That is way I too so funny. Scared. That I was so like scared. the most like, politician answer. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's like <laughs> filibustering oh, this whole thing yeah. going on this long uh, spiel. Oh my god. I'm oh, sorry. Let's do it again. <laughs> no, but my point is, yeah. but I do love her, and um, you know, I know I'm going through something right now in my life, and I, uh, you know, I've been chasing this dream, and you know, for a very long time, and um. You know, it's it hasn't panned out the way I thought it was going to pan out. Mm-hmm. In many ways, it's better than I ever thought it would ever be. It's a nightmare as well. But I, um, I don't know. I just need a change, and I don't know what it is.